Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Noreen. Today we will discuss book summary of Daniel Defoe's one of the famous Nobel Robinson Crusoe. So let's get started with the lesson. Robinson Crusoe is a novel which tells a fictional tale about a castaway sailor's life and his adventure on a deserted island. If uh, just imagine that you were shipwrecked on a desert island, you were alone and what will you feel or what will you need, what would you want, what would you write down as your experience and what would you describe that where you are, what are your feelings. If you can imagine all these things, you will you will clearly understand the novel, and you will clearly clearly understand the 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 situation of this character. So, confessional and didactic in form, the book is presented as an autobiography of the title character, Robinson Crusoe. That means Robinson Crusoe is uh, the short form of his full name, Robinson Crusoe. He is a castaway who spends twenty eight years on a remote tropical desert island near the coasts of Venezuela and Trinidad. So uh, from this we can understand that Robinson Crusoe is the title character and he is the protagonist. Moreover, he himself is the novel's narrator. That means we, get, we have got a first person narrative here. He describes how as a headstrong young man, he ignored his family's advice and left his comfortable middle class home in England to go to the sea. His first experience in the sea nearly killed him, but he preserved. That means um, uh, he also he further describes how he survived through a deadly storm and spent 28 years on an adventurous life on a desolate island. Uh, Robinson Crusoe is uh, he, he was born in the town of New York in the north of England during the 17th century and his father is a German and his mother is an English his father wants him to stay at home to practice law and to enjoy the middle-class life here however Robinson Crusoe wants to be a sailor and he always, always was in a search of a new uh, opportunity to go to the sea and to become a sailor. And he found an opportunity also. A year later, he meets a friend whose father has a ship. Then he embarks on a ship bound for London with that friend. However, misfortune was there. In his first voyage, he was involved in a series of violent storms at sea and was warned by the captain that he should not be a seafaring man. Ashamed to go home, Crusoe boarded another ship and returned from a successful trip to Africa. Yes, his, uh, th this voyage, uh, this trip to Africa made him, uh, made him a successful merchant as well as a sailor. And in the middle of the novel, he shares with us by saying that a voyage to Guinea made me both a sailor and a merchant. Here Crusoe explains that how he have become financially successful from this trip. And this trip is financially successful and Crusoe plans for another trip, leaving his early profits in the care of a friendly widow. However, the next voyage that he, 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 he makes uh, does not prove as a fortunate one that the previous one. The ship is seized by Moorish pirates and those pirates sold Crusoe to, uh, to a captive. Crusoe met with bad luck and was taken prisoner in Sally. And uh, there he, 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 for two years he lived as a slave there. Then one day his master wants him to go to fishing with two friends, uh, Molly and Hurry. Inside that he thought this way that he can escape. They went to the sea and, and suddenly they saw a Portuguese ship going to Brazil. He shoot the gun and asked for help to join that ship. So the Portuguese captain uh, was very, uh, he was, he took Crusoe with him. 
he saved Crusoe's life and took him to uh, Brazil. And uh, he stayed Brazil, uh, stayed in Brazil, and worked for many years. That Portuguese captain uh, helped him to become a plantation owner. By then, he was a rich, but also bored. One day, some friends came to him and asked him uh, to sail to Africa to do business. And he again wanted to go to Africa. And we saw that he, as he is an ambitious man, and uh, for more wealth. Crusoe makes a deal with merchants and other plantation owners and sails to Guinea again to buy slaves and to return with them to Brazil. But he encounters uh, a terrible storm in the, in the Caribbean uh, and his ship is nearly destroyed. And uh, Crusoe is the only survivor and sub into a desolate island. After this storm, storm, no one survived. Only he, he was the only person. He survived there. So Crusoe makes immediate plans for food and then shelter to protect himself from wild animals. He brings as many things as possible from the wrecked ship. Things that would be useful to him. Gradually, he begins to develop. That means he took, uh, he looked around the ship, and there was a big box of food, rice, and salted meat, and herd sheep, and other tools and seven guns. So he decided to build a little house and found a little cave to keep his food. He learned to cut wood to make a table, a chair, and killed wild animals to have meat to eat. And soon we see that he learns all the craftsmanship and develops the quality to live alone on his own kingdom. Yes, he has developed a kingdom there by, by building a house for himself and all the necessary amenities he needs. And we find that cut off from the company of man, he began to communicate uh, with God. He carefully documents in a journal anything, everything happens and experiences there. And he began to uh, 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 began to be a religious person to keep his sanity and to entertain himself. Uh, he begins to write journal. In the journal, he recorded every task that he performed each day since he had been marooned here. As time passes, Crucio becomes a skilled craftsman, able to provide himself with every comfort he needs. In his loneliness, Crucio reflected uh, on his early life. Sometimes he cries for human companionship. After spending about 15 years on the island, Crucio found a man's footprint. That was a kind of shocking to him. He was so afraid about the footprint that he had to pass many sleepless nights. And he, he even didn't leave his cave for many days. See, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a twist in that. Mm, he was longing for companionship. However, after finding a footprint, he became afraid of that. And he was not sure whose footprint is that. However, later on, he discovers that the footprint was one of the cannibals. Uh, then one day, uh, some day later, uh, after that uh, he discovered the footprint, he saw that uh, some cannibals landed on the island and they uh, they took a victim with them to eat eat the victim up. So Crucio saves that captive, as um, and then he uh, named him Friday and taught him English. Moreover, Crucio taught Friday his Christianity and uh, his language also. Uh, then we see that uh, 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 English language and English culture. Soon we see that uh, Friday becomes a civilized Christian under the tutelage of Crucio. After that, uh, uh, Crucio wanted to help Friday to get back home. However, Friday didn't want that. He wants to be his true friend. Robinson Crucio and Friday tried to make a canoe to go to the sea, but it's quite small. Then they went to the sea with a small canoe, the f and fortunately, uh, uh, he saw a big boat, and um, he he shoot a gun to make a noise. Before that, uh, we see that Crucio and Friday saves two captives from the cannibals. One is Friday's father, another one is a white man. After almost three decades. Uh, on the island, we see that that means after 28 years, Crucio departs 
uh, this island uh, for England and in the meantime we see that there is uh, people started to live here in the island after returning to Ireland he found that he has become a wealthy man and uh, no people remembered him his parents were dead and also two brother and he um, that means he, he did find the two sons of his brother and uh, Crusoe then sell, sold his plantation in Brazil for a good price and then he got married and after that he had three children finally we see that uh, however he was persuaded to go on yet another voyage and he visited his own island where there were promises of new adventures to be found in later account mm -hmm.